Let's have a look at how we can use a number expander now. Now you can make these using paper, but I'm going to show you how it would work. We've got 635. We've folded our paper, but if we unfold each section, we can see our number is 600s, 310s and 5 units. Now we can actually close parts of those up and see it differently. What about if we did this? Instead of 310s, I'm going to hide the word 10s, and that means it looks like I've got 635 units, which I have because 310s has the same value as 30 units plus my 5 units. What about this? Instead of 600s, I'm thinking of it as 60 tens, plus I had 310s, so I've got 63 tens and 5 units. You could actually think of 600 plus 30 plus 5 units, and you'd have 635 units. Now you could actually get place value blocks and make your number different ways, or you can use a number expander like this one.